What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back and checking out the video. Got an 01 XJ in the driveway. Gonna do some oil pressure testing with some tools today and uh, actually show you how uh, how to kind of do that with this car. Um, basically having some problems with the oil pressure. Um, showing me, like the gauge showing me some really low pressure here once the car warms up. And uh, I'm gonna test it with the tool and actually verify that the little cinder or the switch that uh, takes the oil pressure and reads it and sends it to the gauge is bad. So I'm gonna verify that and show you how to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start this guy up. Now the pressure is gonna climb up to about 40 PSI, which is pretty good, um, which is about normal. And if it goes a little higher than that, that's okay. But once this guy warms up, it's gonna start dropping off. So I'll go ahead and let this guy warm up. You can see that it's nice and cold right now. And I'll show you what the gauge starts to do after it warms up. Okay, so this this car here is a good friend of mine's and he really hasn't put very many miles on it. He just bought it a couple months ago and uh, He's actually only put like 50 miles on this thing. So we we really don't know what kind of condition the motors in it has 204,000 miles and uh, The bottom end is making a little bit of noise. I mean these four liters are a little loud um, The bottom end is a little noisy. It's a little knocky um, And then the AC bracket it definitely makes some noise the AC pulley I have that in another video that can create a knocking noise and uh, make you uh, kind of think that your motor is taking a dump, but uh, that thing is making some noise. So this thing makes some noise, so it's got me a little bit worried and uh, we're going to do, you know, it has a leaky water pump, we need to do the valve cover. We're going to spend some money on this thing, so before we do any of that, I just want to make sure that, you know, the bottom end is good and that this gauge here just has a you know a faulty sensor and it doesn't really need an engine or anything like that all right so we're warming up she's still at 40 psi which is good but we're still warming up we need to get this thing up to about 210 and then we'll start watching the oil pressure fall off here in a little bit all right so she's still warming up at idle typically what we want to see what would be really cool is to have about 20 psi but the lowest we want in this thing is 13 psi all right guys so we're at about 200 degrees and we're sitting at about 13 PSI. Okay, so with the uh, Jeep Cherokee and the Wranglers that have the four liter, watching the oil pressure moving around on the, on the gauge is pretty normal. So see if I bring the idle up to about, you know, 1600, 1500, you can see the oil pressure jump up. This is pretty normal with this car. With a lot of newer cars, you don't actually see the gauge move. It kind of just stays in one spot a lot of times or it doesn't have a gauge at all. But this is pretty normal with this car here. So, you know, at about, you know, 1800 RPM, we're looking about 35 PSI, which is fine, all right? I'd like to see 40, but that's fine. I'll go ahead and let it drop back down, and we'll just watch this guy just dive down a little bit. It's still gonna get it, need to get a little bit warmer than this for the gauge to start acting funny. That's normally when it starts happening is when we get things nice and hot. All right, guys, well, she's about as warm as she's gonna get sitting here in the driveway. As you can see, she's idling, and my uh, oil pressure gauge is showing me she's got about uh, one PSI, and it's telling me to check gauges now. We're sitting at about 205 degrees, 208. Um, this is pretty typical of the four liter that has a bad cinder, but you know I want to do the oil pressure test just to make sure that the cinder is bad and that I still have good oil pressure because the motor is pretty loud in this thing. I don't know if you can hear it right now. Let me see if I can be real quiet and see if you can hear it. But the motor is pretty darn loud. I mean, it, it knocks pretty good. I'm going to give it a little bit of gas and show you that the uh, oil pressure will come back up. And it'll get within the range of uh, where it's supposed to be, and we are between 20 and 40 psi when you bring the idle up to 1500, 1600 RPM. And really, about 1800 RPM, it's sitting at about 20. It's still showing that it's it's kind of low for it being that high at idle, but it's on the low side. But it's within spec. I'm gonna let it go ahead and drop back down. So right there, when it gets if it gets below 13, we really need to you know really really need to check this out. All right, I don't know if the microphone's picking it up, but uh, this thing knocks pretty good. I'm, I'm a little concerned that uh, this engine is whew, it's not in the best shape in the world. But uh, I'll go ahead and show you the uh, oil pressure tester. I already bought a new sending unit. I'm going to look at that, and then we'll go ahead and test this mother and uh, hopefully just swap out that new sender, hopefully. Uh, hopefully this thing doesn't need a motor or something. All right, guys, so here's my oil pressure testing uh, toolkit here. Okay, um, I actually bought this on Amazon. Um, it really wasn't that expensive. You're looking at about $28, I think. And it was, you know, prime and everything like that. 
Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description box on this particular one. Uh, I like this one because it came with all the adapters that I'm ever going to need. It came with some, some O-rings, but uh, this is going to be nice and long. It came with this little uh, L adapter too, which is pretty cool. The gauge itself, it's going to read exactly what I needed to as far as PSI goes. But uh, this is the selling point for me was it comes with all these adapters. This is going to be able to work on all kinds of different cars. Um, if we go ahead and look at the new uh, cinder that we have here, all you got to do is match up the threads to the threads on the adapter. And that's what we're going to use to go ahead and screw into the, the car over here and test this guy. But yeah, here's a new one. Okay, so typically when these things go bad, these oil pressure sending units, um, when you pull the connector off, you can usually tell right away if they're on their way out. If you look inside the connector and if it's all oily, this thing's on its way out normally, okay? Because uh, the oil's actually getting past uh, the inside of the cinder and it's actually starting to leak into here. That means your pressure's, uh, you know, it's not going to show up right on your gauge. So that's a good indication that you're going to need to change it. So again, um, when you see a little bit of oil in there, going to need a new one. All right, so here on the XJ, looking at as we're looking at the sensor is right here above the oil filter and if we look you can already see that the wiring on this guy is a little corroded but the wiring's still all there i checked it out earlier it's still hooked up i just kind of separated it and the uh the cinder itself it actually doesn't look original it actually looks the cinder itself looks like it's been replaced at some point but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the connector off and then we're going to pull, pull the cinder off and then uh hook up the tool. So to get the cinder off, I'm just gonna use this big one and one sixteenth wrench right here. They do make a socket that will go right on that and take it right off, it's like a 3 8 socket. Uh, but I don't have it with me today, it's at work, I kinda forgot it, but this, this will do the job. All right, so here we go. So if you look on the inside, it is a little bit oily in there. I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not, but it is oily in there, which is a sign that this, this thing's been on the car for a little while, so. Alrighty, so with the kit, we're just gonna use the adapter here. Let's make sure it has the O-ring on here and just go and screw it back on. Okay, so I got the adapter on. I'm gonna end up using this L adapter here to make my life a little bit easier and just click it right on here. And I'm gonna put the gauge up right here. Get my gauge. Right on. Alright, all right, got the gauge all hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up and see what kind of PSI we have at idle. Alright, let's see what we got. We're looking at about it looks like about 13 PSI at idle. Which that's the bare minimum for this car right here. Now this showing me 13 PSI means, you know, this guy's got a lot of miles. There's definitely some miles on uh, the bearings, the lower bearings, everything like that, and the oil pump. Um, I'm going to see what happens when I raise up the idle. When I raise up the idle, we should get at least 20. But as long as I don't see this thing fall down like it was before, I'm in good shape. All right, so outside on the new gauge on the, the tool, um, started it up at idle. We had about 13 to 15 PSI, which is the bare minimum for this car at idle. Uh, raised it up, raised the idle up. Uh, I don't really know what RPM it was because I was out there. Um, got it up to 20 PSI, which is okay. Um, but the most important thing is, is that at idle, the gauge never dropped down below 13 PSI. It didn't fall all the way down to zero like it was shown right here on this gauge here. So, went ahead and replaced the cinder unit, and now we're about to start it up. See uh, see what this gauge shows me now. All right, gotta start this thing up. We'll see what the PSI looks like. All right, so we're fully warm right now, and we're looking at, what this is, 10, this is like 11 or 12 PSI right there on the gauge. Give it a few seconds, see, uh, see if it falls down. Nothing so far. 
go ahead and rev it up a little bit see how, how much oil pressure we can build all right we're in the 20s 25 and really outside when i was revving it up i really didn't know how uh, what rpm i was at because it's really really loud with that fan and everything like that but back at idle Looks like we're holding the minimum PSI for this guy, which is good. It looks like we've uh, looks like we've uh, fixed it by replacing that sending unit. All right, well this thing seems to be fixed. Replace the sender. No more wacky gauge telling me that it's got no oil pressure or anything like that. I don't have a have to you know have a heart attack about thinking that we're just gonna go and just drive this thing into the ground. Um, but yeah, it seems to be holding at the minimum oil pressure which is which is i guess okay i mean considering it sounds kind of crazy um it sounds like it it it, it sounds nuts it, it knocks and stuff like that but whatever um if the video was helpful you know do me a favor and hit the thumbs up um down below i'll leave links for all the parts and the tools and stuff like that but those are there for you to help you out make your day a little bit easier and yeah, if you're working on something else, the specs, the oil pressure specs will be a little bit different. You're going to need to look those up, try to find those. You know, they'll be on Google. You can probably find it. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to see more on me working on this XJ, I got like a valve cover, water pump, doing a lift on it. Um, hit the subscribe button uh, so it notifies you when those videos come out. And uh, yeah, check out the channel. And that's pretty much it. You guys uh, take care. Be safe. Have a great weekend. Later.